Well, good morning, YouTube. Boy, has this been one crazy summer. I think this is one that certainly will go down in the history books. I haven't had the opportunity to post many videos on my channel. Last one I posted was several months ago when I hit 50,000 miles. But check it out if you haven't already seen it. This morning, uh, I've charged the car to 100%. It's generally not a good idea to charge your car to 100%, but I definitely need it this morning. We're going to go on a hike up above Pinedale. It's about 225 mile round trip. Temperatures this morning are going to be 18 or 19 degrees on the way there. And while it'll be warmer on the way back, I just don't want to take a chance of running out of any charge. There's no opportunity or supercharges along the route. So this is certainly one of the instances where I need all the range I can get. Okay, we've charged this morning to 100%, which equates to a 286 mile range. It took us half of our battery pack to uh, drive up here to Elkhart Park. It's uphill and it was cold this morning. I think the lowest temperature I saw was about 18 degrees. But uh, I'm not worried about making it home, even though there's no charging infrastructure between here and there, because it's mostly downhill and the temperature will probably be in the 50s on the way back. Yeah, the wind really blew some trees down. Look at the root ball on this. Well, look at the green tree. It's, I mean, it's a completely green yeah. tree. It's These not like green it's trees. a dead tree. Yeah, this could be more of an obstacle course. We'll get our workout this morning. Well, we've owned our Tesla Model X for almost three years now and we have decided to update our car and we've ordered a brand new Tesla Model X. Um, we're just going for the standard version, what's called a long range plus. We're changing colors, we're ordering a midnight silver, but uh, no options to speak of, just the basic interior. So here's some of the lowdowns they were talking about. So far it hasn't been too bad, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Looks like we can get under this one pretty easy. I don't know about pretty easy, but we can just be careful not you just to have to do the limbo. Huh? Just have to practice your yoga moves. Maybe much harder with a backpack. But our current Model X, we've really enjoyed. We've put almost 53,000 miles on it at this point. Been completely happy with the car. No major issues that haven't been resolved by Tesla service. Definitely a few down trees and not the kind you can easily get around. Unfortunately, it's like here. Last week was battery day and there was really some good exciting news. I'm not going to talk about that because there's lots of other people that have already analyzed that to death. I didn't, uh, I had my hopes up that we'd get a new battery pack for the Model X. And uh, the main reason is, is that I really need the additional range. Well, I'm disappointed that the car that we're ordering doesn't have a heat pump or a larger battery pack. We are going to go ahead and bite the bullet and order the new Raven Model X. It's EPA rated at 351 miles. And our car has now degraded not much, but at 100% charge, it's... Uh, 286 miles, so it will be a boost. And the new models are just more efficient, so that will give us a little more range.
They've made several improvements to the Model X in the last three years. Most notably the permanent magnet motor in the front. They've also made some changes to the battery pack. While they haven't increased the capacity as far as I know, they've made it so that it can charge a little faster and uh, probably has a little better cooling in it compared to the version I have. They've also upgraded the suspension. We have a little better range because the car is more efficient. But uh, one of the things I didn't order with my car in 2017 was the premium package, which included the, the bioweapons mode. I just wasn't willing to pay the extra money for those few features. But after the last couple of years with all the smoke, and in particular this year, all this smoke that we got from the wildfires in California and Oregon, it was literally horrible for a month. It just, uh, it really made me want, wish that I had had that in our car. So I'm looking forward to being able to drive down the road when it's smoky and uh, not have to breathe that smoke. Other features that I'm gonna gain with this version are gonna be the heated steering wheel. The uh, passenger seats also have seat warmers in them. Um, and also the uh, windshield wiper nozzles are heated. Those were all part of the premium package that I didn't order in 2017, but they come standard now. I've arrived at Long Lake. It's in a beautiful location. We'll find us a, wow, look at a big tree. Down here, huh? great spot where we got a view and have us a little lunch. What a beautiful location. Look how clear the water is. Well, the battery pack in our current Model X is a version D. And every year Tesla seems to introduce a new version of the battery pack. I guess the current shipping at Model X's have a version G of the pack. I think they've made some minor improvements even though the capacity is about the same. As far as I understand it, those improvements are slightly better cooling and a little bit bigger cabling which allows for a little faster charging. I have my fingers crossed that maybe ours will ship with Model H of the pack. And uh, my wildest dreams are that that Model H would include a small bump in energy density Panasonic has announced that they can achieve a 5% boost in energy storage in the current cells with some modifications to the cell. Uh, Tesla wouldn't have to redesign the pack for those new cells and my hope is is that the Model H pack will have those new batteries. I could certainly use an extra 5% range. Little wardrobe change. It's uh, about 12.30 and the temperature's warmed up. And we've got about a 1,500 foot climb to back to the parking lot, so getting a good workout. For our return trip, Tesla is predicting that we'll arrive with 21%. Well, that was a fun drive and a great hike. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us today. Well, we've arrived back home with 21% left in the battery pack. And the reason there's such a huge difference between the going and coming on this round trip it was cold in the morning and it was uphill and on the return trip it was 60 some degrees Fahrenheit and we lost about 3,000 feet of elevation. So Tesla did a really good job in their prediction and that's one thing that they've really improved over time. Well stay tuned to this channel and as we take delivery of the car in the next six to ten weeks I'll want to share my thoughts on the new version versus our current version. I hope you're having a great fall and I want you to be safe and be kind and I'll see you in the next video.